Hello everyone. Welcome to the 6th episode of Android Beginner Tutorial Series of TechiesWipe. If you haven't gone through the previous videos, please check the description box of this video. As you have already learned to create your first app, now the next step is how to add a text view, edit text and a button to your app. Along with that, you will get to know about wrap text, match parent, padding, gravity, center in parent, button click listener etc by this video. This is the app we are going to create today. It's like ask your user to enter their name then on click of the button your app will greet you with your name. So let's start coding. This app's name is test application. If you need to know how to create an app in Android Studio from the scratch please check episode 4 of the series. First, we need to create the user interface. So let's go into the XML file. I'm changing constraint layout to relative layout and I'm deleting the default text view here. Now, I will add an edit text, a button and a text view to this XML file. Going to the design part and select plain text that means the edit text in which user can type text. Then drag and drop a button and then a text view. As this is a relative layout, all these views are on the same position. So I am going to arrange it. For that, I am giving an ID for each view. For text view, I am giving ID as text name. And for button, btn click here. And for edit text, I'm giving edit text name. Now I will arrange it one after another using an attribute named layout below. Selecting text view and in layout below, I'm typing btn click here. Android Studio will give suggestions. So all you need to do is select the proper one. Then selecting button and in layout below, type edit text name. Now you can see at top, edit text, then button, then text view. To make this design more better, select edit text and in layout attribute, we need to change layout width and layout height. As default, it is given as wrap content, which means edit text will only take the space as per its length. I'm changing its width to match parent which takes the entire screen width. Now I am giving padding to each view. First selecting text view and giving padding as 20 dp to padding start which means the left part, padding top, padding end which means the right part and padding bottom. Repeating it for button and text view. Then also for relative layout. Instead of giving same padding like 20 dp for all the four padding attributes, you can give 20 dp to padding. Just like this. Now I am bringing this views into the center of screen. For that I am going to gravity and check the checkbox of gravity to true. Now these views are in center. Now I'm going to move the button to center. For that I'm using layout center in parent and check that to true. For whatever we were doing until now, XML code was writing in the text part by Android Studio. If you like to write it by yourself, you can use the text part to code. Now in main activity.java, create objects for the views used. That is edit text edit text name, button, btn, click here, text view, text name. In on create, type edit text name equals in bracket edit text, the keyword for edit text, find view by id, Android Studio is giving functions related to what we type, so select that, then in that are 
resource dot id dot edit text name then semicolon i created object name as id to avoid confusion it's not necessary you can give according to your wish then for button btn click here equals in bracket button the keyword find view by id r dot id dot btn click here for text view also repeat the same syntax text name equals text view in bracket find view by id r dot id dot text name semicolon now what we have to do is ask user to type a name once user click on the button fetch that name and display it with hi so first in design part give hint text to edit text as enter your name we need to write click listener for button btn click here dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener if you select this from suggestion android studio will override on click function in on click function first i am fetching the string from edit text for that string name equals edit text name dot get text dot to string semicolon to string is to convert what you got from edit text to string type then set that text to the text view along with hi so text view dot set text in bracket name and in double quotes hi and a space before name so that in the text view it will show hi a name what we written in double quotes here will display in the app as it is now we can test our app so that run your application i'm typing my name then click on the button text view will show hi sara here you can see text view is displaying on the screen that is not good and its color seems to be gray we need to change this so select text view and design in text color attribute select black now in text attribute delete the default text i forgot to change text of button to click here so select button and in text attribute type click here then run your application and your app is all set If you need the code for this tutorial please check the description box I will give the GitHub link I hope this video helped you well if you like this video please like and share to your friends who is in need comment below if you have any queries and don't forget to subscribe to techiswipe and hit the bell icon for notifications from this channel we'll come up with the next video thanks for watching